Thank you very much, Ihora, for introduction. It's such an honor and pleasure to be here among friends. Uh, dear Speaker Emerita Pelosi, Mr. Pelosi, it's, it's great to be here with President Bush, First Lady Bush, with everyone who's, who feels strongly about PEPFAR. Why is it important uh, for me to be here on this day when we actually mark the one year since Russia attacked us and almost nine, year, nine years since they started the war in 2014? Uh, I'm honored to be here to introduce two very brave Ukrainians, Dmitro Sharembi and Valeria Rachinska, somebody who have been beneficiaries of PEPFAR and relentless fighters for public health in Ukraine with, through, through their 100% life initiative. A year ago, Russia decided to destroy our country. Year ago, they started a full-fledged war with rockets flying everywhere. We have seen all kinds of war crimes. We have seen all kinds of atrocities. We have seen damage and destruction that Europe did not see since the World War II. And yet, today we stand and we say that we will win this war. And we will win this war because of several success factors. First, remarkable leadership. Leadership of President Zelensky, of course, who stayed and decided to fight for the country together with the, with the country. Leadership of the American president, of the speaker, of every American here. Leadership of the administration to show those values that we just discussed with regard to PEPFAR, compassion, belief in freedom and democracy, readiness not only to fight for these values here, but to support them elsewhere. Bravery, of course, but also, which is very important, the work of all Ukrainians, all our civil society, everyone together. As you say, you know, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to do some everything. It will take a village for us to win. And it also took a village to have a successful PEPFAR implementation everywhere. Ukraine is proud to be participant of this program since 2007. It has been 350 million that we have received through PEPFAR, but it's not about numbers. It's not a line in the budget. It's about 150,000 lives that have been saved, that have been able to live full life, and that are able, like Dmitro and Valeria, to fight today, to fight for their homes, to fight for their loved ones, to fight for our freedom, to fight for our democracy. So thank you, everyone in the United States who initiated, implemented, fought for this program, and who continues to fight for this program. It's the program that really is important for everyone, and it's a program through which America is showing you know, the leadership in compassion and humanitarian uh, assistance, which is invaluable. And as we enter the new year, which, as our president said today, is going to be a victorious year, and we will all work day and night to get there, uh, I just want to again thank the United States for all the support in, in supporting our fight, because this fight is important for all of us. We have to show that in the 21st century, you cannot change the borders of independent free country with a brutal force. So when we win, and I have no doubt that Ukraine will win, we all have to work close together, like we have shown yesterday at the UN with 141 countries voting together. We have worked together to achieve equality, equity, to work on health issues, and to create everything that is possible in order to prevent wars, but also to fight and win in peace. And PEPFAR is one of the programs which clearly shows how efforts directed on public health helps really promote peace. So thank you very much and have excellent discussions today. Thank you. I'm so sorry, but I really need your support now because I first in my life speak English. Uh, but I must, I must. 
365 days ago, begin war. Exactly one year ago at this time, we were taking people in bomb shelters. Unfortunately, not everyone could get to a shelter. And I would like to ask for a minute of silence to remember those who are not longer with us today. Three hundred sixty five days of war, of courage, sacrifice, organization, cohesion, and strength with people of communities. We are not professional military. In our schools, we are not taught the art of war or skills of surviving and the shelling of saving people from combat zones. All of that was taught to us by the war, but more important, by all love to our close people and family. The moment when everything that is so dear to us got under threat, the world has changed. And to save what is important to us, we all transfer, transform it in courage, aspiration, and determination, love, is the most important weapon on ACE. It gave us strength to, sur to survive in difficult year. In the last 365 days, we managed to feed and save about one million people. We keep helping about 250,000 people every day. We open shelters to help people relocate. We build a chain of life to evacuate people from combat zones. We move people from occupied cities and towns. We delivered food and medicine to them. We took care of the elderly and children. PEPFAR programs has been operating in Ukraine for 10 years. Thanks to this program, we did a lot even before the war has started. I'm very glad that these wonderful people are not part of our history. Now, part of our history. Jim, Aaron Banks here in this uh, room, our friend. Jessica Grigion, Vladimir Chura. I would like to thank everyone of this personally for being part of our team and our victory. The value of medical goods that Ukraine received last year through PFAR program is close to $11 million. PFAR program helped us save more than 120,000 people. only 22 uh, year. They help us find and deliver our 53 million dose ART. As soon as the therapy got in Ukraine, we found all possible ways to deliver this medicine by boats, by cars, even by food. Even these areas already captured by Russian troops. We found ways to bring the medicine to those who needed them. It's like an invisible body, armor for the immunity system, which saves people from another war. That is the HIV epidemics. I am a proof of this success. Valeria and I have uh, this, um, uh, one second. Uh, this is proof, like this. Uh, Pepper help us and save us. I am every day take these pills. And 120,000 people in Ukraine. <clears throat> we 
are those indicators in your C, your reports? Where the product you produce? The PEFR program saves lives and we are the living evidence of the success. All of this is the result of your program operating in Ukraine. PEFR team has also helped us provide necessary, necessary political support for adopt of a new HIV law in times when it clawed hardly and anticipated. So, what are plans for future? Maybe this year. First of all, win or the war. The war. Second, rebuild, rebuild everything that has been destroyed. Houses, hospitals, schools, kind gardens in all cities and villages. And not simply rebuild, rebuild, but rebuild better than it was before. It is also important to restore an every person in their mind and hearts, their mental health, so that they could continue to live, believe in the future, and build that future. Our key goal is to make the happiness index measured as peace in Ukraine a number one priority. All of this might sound impossible and extremely complicated. Sorry, yes, I agree. But 365 days ago, nobody in the world could believe that Ukrainians would survive and prevail and beat the world's second largest army. However, this miracle has happened, and all our uh, other ambition plans will also follow these scenarios. But this one important detail, it would not have been possible without you. Here's an example for you. You receive many application forms from different countries. They include plans, indicators, risk assessment. But it is the first time ever that there is an organization and country where people are ready to die for the result. This is the most valuable example that they have ever had in your history. Our victory along to this world and will change the course of history. Those who invest in miracle are all participating in it. You are investing in victory and we are the living evidence of your efficiency. Thank you so much for this.